While we focus on the midpoint of the one-year mission, it's worth noting that months, even years of planning have gone into it as far as research activities go. Lori Meggs at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center caught up with some of the managers for the payloads on board to find out how ground teams have and continue to get the most research to benefit humanity. Here at the Payload Operations Integration Center, we like to say we make science happen. And to do that, we have to make sure that the science is done on the correct days, it's done properly, and it's stowed so that we can get all that data back to Earth. And that's not easy, but that's the job here for the ground team members and the flight controllers here in the Payload Operations Integration Center. Today, we're going to talk about the one-year crew. It's a little bit different, more than six months this time. So we want to talk first to Becky Grimaldi. She is a Payload Operations Manager for this expedition, and Becky, you've worked tirelessly, I'm sure, over the past six months. Uh, tell us some of the highlights of the last six months of the one-year crew for science. Um, we've had several big things that we did. One of the biggest ones, well, we did the uh, first session of the fluid shifts investigation, which involves several sessions that they are studying both one-year crew members, both Misha and Scott. And uh, the final session is done actually in the Russian segment using the Chibis hardware, which is a lower body negative pressure device that the crew gets in. It's like a big pair of pants. And um, they scan them with a lot of the equipment that they use with, when they're outside the, of that equipment to see the changes when they, when they put that lower body negative pressure on the on their subject. So they take an ultrasound and they scan ultrasound. They take a, a lot of equipment that you might have if you, when you're getting your vision tested because part of the fluid shifts investigation is to study changes in vision because they believe that some of the, the pressure in your body is changing the, the crewman's eyes. So it's pretty much studying the changes in the, the fluid pressure of the eye. So they use several pieces of equipment, in, including the ultrasound, to study the changes of that pressure to see uh, to try to understand why some of the crew experience changes in their vision. That is a great one. A any others that stand out to you? Uh, we started the um, the one year mission investigation of the twin study, which is specifically obviously just for Scott and his brother Mark are both participating, and it's a very unique opportunity to to study twins and uh, a lot of the DNA type studies that they can do on twins and how, how the twin on the ground is doing the same investigations as Scott's doing on orbit and then they can compare and, and really learn a lot about the DNA and how the twin part of that science is, is linked together to the DNA. Now how does your team here really assist with all of this? Um, we started about a year ago from almost right now, six months before the increment even started, getting all the products and everything ready, training the crew. Um, we have to review to make sure what the ops that we're going to do. And when we have to develop training products for the crew, we have to develop training products for ourselves. We have to develop the crew procedures, um, how we're going to plan, how much crew time the activities actually take. We have to develop all those products. We started that about a year ago. Um, and then six months ago, we started the actual increment when the crew got there, um, and we're continuing to update those products and update everything that they need, train the crew, make sure that they have everything that they need to actually do the operations throughout the past six months that we've been here. And so let's shift gears and talk about the next six months. Now, Stephanie Dudley joins me, and she is a payload operations manager as well. And Stephanie, first of all, before we start that, tell me what a payload operations manager does. Uh, so the payload ops manager is managing, obviously, the global priorities for the six-month increment. So the pod on console that you see here is in charge of the shift, the ops that are happening right now, and uh, the POM, payload ops manager, is kind of managing in, in the six months, what do we need to accomplish? So uh, assisting with that global knowledge of, of what needs to get done when. So the next six months, uncharted territory we're getting into now. All of this data that we're going to start getting back is, is for the first time. Yes, uh, it's, it's new. Um, this would be the first time, obviously, that we've got a one-year crew. So starting now, all of this is, is new for NASA. So we're going to have the first flu vaccine on orbit. Uh, this is part of the twin study. So Scott's going to take it on board. Mark will take it on the ground. And we have some investigations to see how uh, their DNA changes based on the vaccine on board. So lots of uh, good stuff that we're doing. Uh, a, a lot up. of human health that will help in future deep space missions as well as for us here on Earth. Yes, exactly. One of our major risks to long-term spaceflight is eye 
um, changes, what Becky already mentioned, our fluids shifts experiment is measuring those changes. We also have, for instance, uh, the veggie experiment, we're harvesting plants in space. So all the things that we're doing are looking toward that long-term goal. But one year in space, I know that Scott probably trained for these experiments, what, probably two years ago or more? Or more. How, how does he remember that? How do you guys help him remember what to do? Right, so that's part of our job is make sure that he has what he needs when he needs it. So that includes, for instance, we send him videos, short overviews of the activities that he's going to do each day, just in time. So give him a refresher just before he does the activity so that um, he, he gets that refresher from what he got on the ground. All right, well that's exciting. We can't wait for the next six months. Thank you both for joining us and sharing us, sharing with us what you guys have done over the past six months and we look forward to the next six months of the One Year Crew. That will do it for us here from the Payload Operations Integration Center. Now back to you at Mission Control in Houston.